is official. The Toronto Maple Leafs introducing the 32nd head coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs, Craig Berube. Did that go down the number? It did. I thought it was like 42. <laughs> I thought it was 41. 41. <laughs> The other nine guys go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for the head number head coach? Yeah, I didn't say that in a long before. time. I mean, the original six. Uh, Sarah Volley is right. tricking me again. Well, he <laughs> did have the news. We'll give it to that. Yeah, he, he did. He did have Congrats. the news uh, shortly before it broke and it was official by Toronto. But, you know, we did just discuss this. But this is a huge hire, uh, a big get for the Toronto Maple Leafs. They went out and they got their guy. They have a lot of issues they're going to want to sort through this offseason. But they've got the right guy in charge, a Stanley Cup champ. As you mentioned, a difficult player to play against. Uh, has everything you'd want in a head coach for this franchise. Uh, and the pressure that they're under up there in Toronto. Well, he's done it. He's played. So he has the respect of guys of, of just having that resume that he has as a player. And now he has the resume. He's a Stanley Cup winning coach. He's mm -hmm. brought sort of talented teams out of the doldrums. It's pretty much a perfect fit. And, you know, Toronto, everything gets kind of overhyped. I thought they had a really good first round series in a lot of stretches against the Bruins. And look, they got you get unlucky sometimes in the playoffs. And if you win, or if you want to advance, you do have to get breaks. You have to get lucky. And losing Willie Nylander for a little while is not a good break to have. And then Austin Matthews was out. It's not, it's not ideal, especially when these players account for half your salary cap. So you want them not only playing, but playing at their best. There's going to be, again, there's going to be a little bit of surgery. I don't know how, if it's just we're taking some things out and we're developing younger guys, or if they're going to add some different characters, different pieces. But Craig Berube is going to make he's going to make a lot of changes and he's going to say, you know, this is the bus you're on it or you're off the bus and I'm driving out of all the coaches. I mean, the, he was the big name and now he's off the board. I know of some other teams, yeah. including my Devils had interviewed Craig Berube, but I think it's a really good hire by the Toronto Maple Leafs. I mean, he's going to he's going to command that room right away. Yep. And, and I love that. I love guys that have that presence and that it just makes you as a player go, OK, I better listen to him. I better work hard or I'm not going to play. I'm not going to get ice time. I'm not going to be part of this because it's he expects a lot out of you. No, no question about it. And the Leafs, yeah, they're close. I know we've been saying it for years and people are going to say what they want and beat them up. They're, they're a team that, boy, if, if they just figure out how to win a couple of rounds <laughs> and get that momentum, they're going to They just be, figure out how to not face Boston <laughs> yeah. in the postseason. And, and you know what? Fine. You mentioned one guy, William Nylander. I, I, I I got to give that guy credit. That guy's a big money player. Like oh, yeah. Seems, so you'd always think certain guys, because everybody's got a different personality. Some guys are intense, like me, and other guys. Uh, no, you <laughs> are not. But not as, but even skilled guys. Some guys are more rah rah. He, he is so laid back. Sometimes you think he's not that engaged, not that interested. Come playoff time. The guy has been money for them. He's been the constant that's been right. a go to yep. guy. They need more of them to kind of. Uh, come along with him and come playoff time and make big plays at the right time. I think he fits that that market, that media market so well because he's like, say whatever you want. Yeah, I'm going to go out care. and do my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Love Willie. Love, I'll take my 11 and a half per season and, uh, and play hard and, and hope. Well, how they this. disperse the money, now that's a whole other conversation. I don't know if that's Listen, worked Willie, out Willie too earned well. Listen, Willie earned it. As far, no, Willie did, yeah, no, no question. But Brian mentioned it. I mean, it's not easy. To be a general manager uh, with uh, cap restraints, right? Mm -hmm. So well, it's a it's, it's a lot of big eggs and not a very big basket. <laughs> so, <laughs> Good way to put if, it. If one breaks, you're uh, you're in trouble. All right. Well, congratulations to Coach uh, Chief Craig Bruby, now the head coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs.